YouTube, this is Uncle Mama's Movie Reaction Channel where I provide my views on talented artists who have low subscribers and low views as well as talented artists from around the world. Now once again, I have no idea all the reason why they have low subscribers or low views but I'm going to bring it to the forefront on my channel for us to view. Now continuing on with fabulous, amazing uh, music from around the world, we are now going over to Japan. This particular artist, I've only reacted to two, two reactions and I just find them absolutely brilliantly mind absolutely mind blowing and they are called the love bites this next track that i'm going to do reaction to is um i, uh, I hope i'm getting this um uh, thunder vengeance yes it's thunder vengeance i've looked at so many comments and you have structured so many people have structured me this is the way how you this is the way how you um to react to it um what particular um, art, um you know what particular track to and so on and information so i like to say Big massive thank you for that. Um, before I introduce Love Bites with Thunder Vengeance, I'm going to read a couple of comments and I'm going to go for it right now from um, the, the comments that you've left me from when I reacted to Holy Water. Absolutely amazing. Um, Hugh Fernando, your reaction is so great. This is your second reaction to Love Bites, but yet you know the names of all the personal Love Bites. Thank you so much. Yes, all the ladies of this band is so skilled and professional music, uh, musicians, all of them playing music from a child. So thank you very much, Hugh Fernando. Um, Nando PX, it goes, check Unlikely Morphins next. Next amazing Japanese bank um, band. I will check out the, the is it Unlucky? Unlucky um, Morpheus. Thank you very much for that link. Um, nice reactions I've got there. Please, next, Love by Edge of the World. See, there's so many um, tracks that I've got to check out for Love by, and I'm just excited by it. Every time when I say the name, because as soon as you say the name, I picture these five five fabulous amazing um women who are just doing extraordinary things um absolutely mind-blowing really is um let me go on to um yana um great love your reactions subscribe see you next thank you very much for subscribing yana um eb i've said your reactions um the other day but i just want to acknowledge that you are here so good morning eb how you doing um daniel um david getson how you doing good morning um Aranthia um, was replying back to David Anderson. Um, many didn't re realise that she's capable of including me at the beginning until they realised that there was really no one that can replace her. Um, so I need to get in touch with what, um, what was going on with that. Oh, I was talking about the singer, Asham, um, Asami. He goes, Asami's incredible. Reactors get an instant um, um, downvote from me as soon as they say anything negative about her vocals or um, or her accent or any other problem that they have with her. I don't see any kind of problem with Asami. Asami is absolutely brilliant. Um, when she's letting out the vibratos, um, libra I'm saying libratos, but um, I've been corrected, is vibratos. When she lets that out, she's showing you how much of an amazing, constructive performer um, that she is. And coming from her and looking at, checking out her background, is something that you need in a heavy metal band when you've got so many powerhouse instruments that's playing in there you need a powerhouse vocal to go through it a powerhouse train vocals just to go through all those amazing instruments um and that's fundamental and if you check out every lead singer of a heavy rock band their voice has to be a powerhouse it there's no there's no room for it not to be anything like that i'm so excited to get to your level or just a small sight of your level so i so i can have a decent conversation with you guys when when we're referring to the lights of love bites but for now you know what we're here for great vocabs and a damn good video audio music can you dig it i love the way how performance start off in the night when it's just pitch black no lights then they bring the lights one by one gradually and bring that performance in there it's amazing this gets the crowd buzzing so much Great effects, the way how they done the lighting with the thunder.
that was the Love Bites with Thunder Vengeance. Right away, what I liked straight away was the darkness. When you have completely darkness at any kind of concert, you're waiting for some kind of dramatic entrance. And that did not disappoint me. Um, it, it did stick with the theme, you know, the thunder vengeance and the lightning came in. And that, so that was a nice um, setup as well. And the thunder as well. You just guess, you had to be there just to feel that massive bass sound of that trembling thunder coming in. Um, but I was trying to get there as close as possible, as, as much as possible. And, you know, emotionally tied um, to this track as possible and trying to feel like I was one of the people in the crowd. Um, and then it just set off. One thing I have to give, and um, I'm going to start with, um, with the drums. Um, Haram, Haram, Haruma. Um, she did not let go on the kick. Her legs must be absolutely so muscly and strong. It's unreal. Because throughout that whole song, Throughout that whole song, you heard the kick going. Ba 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 ba. You heard the kick. She did not let off on the kick, and she has to do that. It's like I don't know. She must be good at bike riding, or I, I don't know whatever. But uh, obviously, you know, they're training and they're very professionally trained into doing that and to have and to continue to do that for the whole concert because it wasn't just a one song. You know, that's a concert, so there was many many songs. So just to do that, God knows what she's going to do in the next performance. I saw it in Holy War and seen. Um, the, the, the sort of like the, the drum rolls that she was doing. Incidentally, did you see that solo drum roll that she's done in there? That was just like off the hook straight away. The speed of that, that was just like, what? Oh, are you insane? And there was that one point when um, it flipped and go back. I can't remember what time, what minute, what, um, what minute that was. I think it was in three minutes, something like that. There was one when it um, quickly panned over um, to a Haruna. Um, she was. She was doing the drums with one bloody hand. It's like she was like one hand was like there, and she was like that. But I don't know. Um, I don't know if she was showing off or whatever. But I just thought like right there, you know, come on, please. That's just absolutely amazing. So obviously, you, everybody knows that you know the drummer is a plays an important role of any band because it keeps the timing. And just to see that 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 hardship and the work craft that she was putting into it, and everybody's keeping to timing to what she was doing. Are you seriously? insane are you crazy it's like there's no other i mean like i just done a, um, a reaction to um um Navrosa and i was looking at the the drums and what they was doing and it was like you, you normal 442 kind of thing um but when you get harona um I'm not um I'm saying I hope I'm saying her name Harona um but when you get her what she was doing so many different kind of patterns um and drum patterns in that one performance is like that's out of the norm isn't it C correct me if I'm wrong on that one I really need to know about that um Miho she kept it with um, she kept I saw the um the drum pattern that, I mean the baseline that she was doing was keeping in t um time with and I, and I hope it with Midori um I believe um until Midori just kicked off with her um with her solo part but I'll get on to that um Miho she had you know, you don't think that when when you everybody's got a part to play and when you and I honed in on um, Holy Water what Miho was doing and she was and, and the bass line was definitely fundamental it needed that and once again in Fund of, Ven, um, Fund of Vengeance it needed what she was doing and she was and it's nice that she came at the front of the stage as well as going back into it because before she was kind of slightly behind um, a Sammy and it's and um and it couldn't kind of, I couldn't really grasp her as much as I wanted to because she was slightly behind Sammy, but also over the other side of um, um, of Maduri as well. So it's like, ah, uh, and so she was kind of hiding. So it's nice to see that she's come right into front and then she sat back and she was just going back and forward. Um, so that was that, so that was a nice contrast and that made me listen to what she was doing. So it, it was. Nice to get her um, actually into and playing a part. Incidentally, I love her guitar. Um, she's it's kind of different from everybody else. I don't know why it's blue. I don't know why it's ruby. So if if you know about the significance of why her guitar's blue with the rubies, let me know about that. Now let's get on to the two riff masters. <laughs> Which one do you want to talk about first? Um, uh, both of them absolutely amazing. N number one. Um, and when you look closely, I zoomed in closely on the. Um, on the holy war, um, on holy war, and quite rightly, they did not have no, um, 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 you know, f f 
I'm saying they did they did have fingernails, but I'm saying it wasn't no sharp, large fingernails like any, you know, woman would have all colourful and all that kind of stuff. They kept it strictly plain. And like when I play my guitar and with my fingernails get too long, I'll bite them off. Um, because you can't get those, you can't get that straight, nice, clear tone when you when you got your fingernails. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, so it was just nice to see that she was, you know what, them two are absolutely f uh, formidable. Uh, really are. Um, when Miyako done her um, solo, I was like in awe. There was so much going on, and it's like you know, for me, I have to um, clap hands to any um, guitarist that can do any kind of riff like that because it's a it's. I know it's like doing a riff like you're doing on piano, da, 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 da. but to do it on a guitar when you've got the, that string and she's not even looking. No, one part she was looking at the string at the beginning bit and she's looking at the riff, but the other parts times when she's um, a holy war, um, a holy war, she was not looking at the guitar when she done her riffs. And I was like, what the heck? I really was like, what the heck? But this time she was looking at it, um, it but and she just gave it the same high end um, entertainment. It just le left me in awe of like, wow, what is going on right there? It seriously did. And and let's not take anything away from Midori as well. She's an absolutely a powerhouse. Them two together. When I watched Holy War, they done sort of like a riff, the same riff, but it was kind of harm harmonic. It was very, there was harmonising together. I was like, come on, you've got to practice day in and day out, just not only to do your riffs, but to continuously do your riff over and over again to know that there's nothing different here. It's the same pattern in it. There's nothing changed in it, and then get um, Midori to come and follow you as well. So them two is a lovely contrast of um, of any other. I, I you know. Any other um, heavy metal band, it's normally um, yeah. You, sometimes you two get your two guitarists and and your bass, um, but there's always that one person that sticks out when it comes to that so solo performances. Um, so I see the quick hands of um, um, Miyaka, um, but. Midori gives a, a different kind of element. She does. She doesn't do the same kind of. Yes, yeah, she does the riffs, but it's a different kind of riff and a different kind of style of of, of riffs as well. I don't know how to. Um, uh, uh, I don't know how to, I don't know how to make you understand that, but it's, it's, you can see a difference. Um, it, yes, and there's different styles. There's so many different ways you can do a riff and all that stuff, but you can hear the identity of this person when they're carrying out their riffs, and you can certainly hear the identity the, the identity of these particularly amazing artists. Um, you can clearly hear the see the, and see the pattern, see the character, and all that. So, and I love that feeling of that. I can now say single them out. Say right, okay. Who I can easy they can give you the easy option of showing or saying okay who's your favorite out of them two they give you that easy option because there's completely two different um, artists doing completely two different things but represents the whole that matches the whole ball I hope that get, I hope that I'm trying to I'm doing my best I'm trying to get um to make you understand what I am where I'm coming from and am I on that kind of same level I'm on the right path to understanding what is the love bite where I can come into a, con a a lovely conversation with you guys and where I'm not looking at the fool you know but for now enjoying this journey absolutely amazing and for that reason love bites i salute your mom fabulous once again